Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and you know the rest. <laughs> um, I'm here with Baby Aspen, and Baby Aspen is the prototype by Claire Teller. Um, he was painted by me. Um, this baby, I know normally, and I'm just saying this because I'm getting the question kind of often, um, just in case you haven't heard, um, this particular prototype will not be sold. I'm still on the fence with Abby, um, prototype, um, but I won't be making any decisions to after pre-orders. Um, once we get the pre-order information, I will share that with you guys. Um, but until then, I am enjoying, <laughs> I am enjoying the both of them, um, but Aspen is my, like, I don't know, like, I've been, like, so challenged to try to capture his, his, uh, true, like, look in person, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like, I think, you know, I think sometimes when you oh i'm just not gonna get into it don't worry about it <laughs> it's too hard to explain but i am i'm just not that great at uh like oh my gosh like there you go <laughs> i was trying to get closer to to him Okay, so let's get him changed out of this outfit, which I hate to take off, apparently. Because as you guys can see, he's had it on for a while. Like, he's got his hair a little messed up. So, um, it's funny because yesterday, um, he was in my, laying on my bed with, uh, Phoenix. And my mom... <laughs> Mom came in to see what baby, because I have a private baby in there. She wanted to see the new baby. And when she went in to see them, she said, oh my God, that's a pretty baby right there. And I'm thinking like, but you already saw him before. Like, um, and I think it's just like his, um, what he had on, the way that he was posed, I guess. She was able to really see him see him. I don't know what it was, but it was like, she had like, it was her first time seeing him and she was just like, oh, that's a pretty baby right there. But that's how he is. Like he is, he his expressions change depending on, you know, where he, how he's laying, how his hair is. Um, I've been playing around with his hair. I'll, I made it really straight the other day. Then I um, I try to curl it, make it all curly, then a little curl, then a little straight. Like, I've just been playing with, you know, different styles to see which ways I like most. Um, and so I guess, you know, the way he was yesterday. Say, Grandma, I like me a lot. <laughs> um, so, that's my little man. So, I am, I'm excited about... Um, painting more of this sculpt. I'm definitely going to paint um, a couple more versions. Um, I'm going to keep probably one other one for myself and then I'm going to probably sell one. Um, my hands are so ashy. But this, you know, that's what I want to get back to and I'm almost there and I'm really, really excited about that because um, I want to be able to, you know, just be able to just paint you know freely like no restraints if I mess up I mess up um I took a little bit of risk with him even though he was a prototype um especially with the way that I um textured him was a little different than I than my other babies and I really really love it and I'm gonna try to see if I can get that texture again um, I always give them like a skin-like texture, but 
this one is a little bit unique, which is why he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe I could capture it or do it on the next baby so that I paint. Um, but I think that that's the part that I enjoy about being able to just, you know, free paint versus, you know, having a certain look that I'm trying to aim for, for, you know, different people is that, um, I, you know, I get to, uh, ex experiment, um, I get to experiment on a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't experiment on. That's why a lot of my private babies are like really different. Um, and when I say different, like I may do something that's that I normally won't do. They may have scratches or milk bumps or pimples or something because I don't have to, um, you know, I don't have to worry about if it goes wrong, it's mine anyway. I did want to mention he is 19 inches long. Um, he fits a size zero shoe. Um, he fits a newborn diapers. Um, they do come with the, they will come with a cloth body and a, the a gender neutral, just half tummy plate, which does not affect their cuddleness. Um, him and uh, Abby is total different faces as far as sculpts, um, but he, they do share the same limbs. Um, his mouth is a little bit more detailed. Well, for me, it's a little bit more open as far as for people that the people that's gonna paint. If you want to know, um, he has a tongue, he has top and bottom gums and somewhat of like a little bit of a uvula a little bit kind of it kind of gives you that look in the back um so his mouth is fully fully detailed which is pretty cool um he can suck his thumb um he has full, um, full, full limbs so he's a really he's a really good size he does work as a ball baby abby does not in my opinion only Okay, that's just my opinion. Um, I mean, she would be cuter with a hat. I mean, you she could look bald, be uh, cute as a bald baby because I did put her with hats and she was gorgeous with hats, especially as a little boy. She was really cute with hats and as a little girl, actually. Um, so she can be bald, but I just think that she's more of a hat baby. Whereas in he can be like straight ball no hat just my opinion because i like uh certain uh shape head baby heads so that's just my opinion he would also look really good with painted hair did i say that already probably so i was looking back at the uh delia sculpt as well and um i'm like I'm getting excited about it now that I, I looked at her again. So I think I'm going to um, look at some visions for that baby. I have so many kits in here and I really want to, I almost want to sell some of them blank. But I'm just going to keep them because you know what? You never know what project might come up that you might need one of those particular faces. Like say for instance, you're trying to make a baby look like a certain baby or something, and one of those faces might work. So I'm just gonna keep them. I mean, worst case scenario, I just paint them and put them up for sale. So I have so many kids, um, not talking about the Delias, I'm gonna paint them. I'll probably keep one, sell the other. Um, but, yeah, I have I have so many kits. I just don't want to um I I really don't want to buy any more, but I got about 7 in the cart right now cuz I want to do this thing. And I I'm not going to really talk about that, but there's a little project that a personal project that I would like to do. And all those kits are needed. <laughs> So, 
know it's funny but um yeah so I, I put all those in there and I'm like uh why did I do that I should have brought your sock so I thought I was gonna try him with this pacifier I don't know if I clipped it down enough or not I don't know if I did I didn't even see oh there it is yep perfect I actually clipped it down perfect there we go um, and I keep his hands up a lot because babies tend to to have their their hands up they don't usually have their hands down a lot um just my personal opinion <laughs> and personal experience I'm gonna put him on some socks I love their legs too. I love, love, love. I love newborn babies. I love, I, I do, I really do. As far as, you know, for holding and stuff like that. Like I said, I am seeing that I, I do enjoy many different sizes. And so I'm not like limited anymore. Um, there's one baby that I really want. Um, and I've been trying to make myself not buy it because I, like I said, I got too many kits as it is. Um, yeah, I like this bottle. I bought it from a friend. A lot of people ask me about this bottle. It's a baby quaddle. Um, they're pretty expensive. Um, my friend had two, and so she sold me the other one. Um, they're like anywhere from thirty to sixty dollars per bottle. But I'm so sick of seeing them in people photos to. I think it's time for it to go on the shelf. <laughs> but that's that's it. If you guys want to know the name of it, it's a, a baby quaddle. Um, but I'm so sick of seeing them in everybody photo. I mean, even freaking toddlers got them sitting in their photos now. So I'm like, okay, the excitement of the rarity is gone. <laughs> um but I do still like to see them. Like I like to see um, the fancy ladies when they do theirs, cause they really usually display them really um, fancy, all in like the the uh, bassinets and stuff like that. I do like this. I still like to see them, and I'm just being petty. But I um, but for me, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> But yeah, so that is my little man, and I thought I'd just come on and share it with you guys. Now I gotta get back to everything else that I have going on right now. And I really, I don't know if I'm liking these little pieces of hair in his face. I don't know. But we not worry about it. But anyway. That is it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.